Blair Gilbert, a.k.a. Mr. Hardware from MrHardware.com and we're about to insulate my attic. And what we're doing here, this is my garage attic, and what we're doing is, is we're ventilating the attic ceiling because we're going to insulate right up against the roof. I need the storage paste for my trusses, for my windsurfers and toys, so we're going to take, we're going to insulate against the ceiling as opposed to against the roof as opposed to insulating on the ceiling. And we want to do is we want to make sure that we maintain airflow from the soffit. I can feel breeze blowing in here right now. And we want this airflow to come from the soffit, go up the roof, and go out to the ridge vent. To do that, when we insulate, the insulation could block the airflow. So what we've done is, is we've installed some foam baffling material. And what I've done is I've taken, I've cut it so I can bend it, stapled it, bent it in place. I'm going to take some tape and some aerosol foam, and I'm going to caulk all these joints up airtight. And then when I install my insulation in here, I will be able to keep this tight. I'll have a vapor barrier against my heated area. I'll be able to pack this tight with insulation and achieve the most amount of R value to keep heat in my building. And let me show you how this went. We took kind of flimsy material, it works out just fine. Put it in place. Pack it up, try to keep it tight to the size rafter as possible. going to happen is we put our insulation in here, the airflow can come in, it can run up these channels right up to the ridge vent. As you can see we've got the baffles run all the way up to the top of the ceiling. We now have to put the last piece in that's going to carry us right up to the ridge vent and we want to make sure that we don't overlap too far in the ridge vent and plug the airflow up there. So now when we go to place the top piece of baffling material, we need to make sure that we are halfway into the ridge at the base of the hill. So sometimes there's a help and sometimes there's a nuisance are the roofing yells. Okay, so get it tacked in place and I can uh, clean this up later. Now what will happen is, is the other piece on the opposite side is going to come in, it's going to overlap slightly. When I come up here, I've reduced any gaps for insulation to get up into the ridge. It's just the exit of our air. And we want to make sure that we don't lose it. When we have it together, you can see that we're not restricting the air at all. I'm going to pack my insulation up in there that'll hold that all nice and tight. We've achieved what we wanted to do. We've insulated the attic. We've kept a cool roof. Part of the reason why we've done this is the roof could be insulated tight to the roof, which would make for a hot roof. Many roofing manufacturers won't guarantee a hot roof. So we've taken, we've run our baffling material up to the ridge. We're, we're here looking at the bottom side of the ridge vent. The, I can feel warm air with my hand right now that's coming up as the heat in this room is rising and going out to the ridge vent. Now what's going to happen is with our baffling in place, we insulate nice and tight, the airflow from downstairs from the soffits will flow up out the ridge and it will be a beautifully well ventilated roof. It will be well insulated underneath. I won't have any trouble with my shingles because my roof won't get too hot. And all this has been achieved with about an extra four or five hours of work for me to get all these baffles installed this way.